Good morning, world. How is it going? I hope everyone had a good weekend. Get over here. We have Monty. Good morning, Monty from Texas. Marcy Kennedy. Good morning from Florida. Justin Pacman. Pacman. Eld 24 Picker. Good morning. Hope everyone is doing well. The weekend was just fantastic had decent thrifting yesterday did our normal loop got to uh yeah we missed you last week marcy you're probably busy but uh we we missed you um morning michelle lathan craig thank you for coming in yeah, the thrifting was decent the sales for at least for me i know it's a hit and miss for everyone's sales were really good really really good for me this weekend Yesterday I did between two accounts about 500 bucks yesterday. So, which was surprising to me because the Super Bowl, I figured I wouldn't do anything. Uh, I know on YouTube, I didn't, people definitely were not watching YouTube yesterday because I didn't usually, I gain, you know, anywhere from two to 10 subscribers in a day per day and not yesterday. Well, I did later in the day. I think I gained two total yesterday. So, uh, but during the day, nothing zilch is not a, uh, glad to see justin back live this morning that was fun uh glad he is feeling better uh yeah it seems like the crud is really bad this year you know i've had my little bout with it but mine was easy it was two you know two days and it was over his was like prolonged now marcy's been crushing amazon sourcing and shipping that is awesome yeah always do what makes you money you know and Nathan Eddings eBay was on fire. Our average weekend sales were up. Yeah, I don't, it's strange, isn't it? Because mine were too. Denise, good morning from Minnesota. Denise. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Moronic best. Still trying to get Maroon 5 out of my head. Yeah, I think I zoned out during halftime. And the commercials were, some of them were okay. The commercials like, uh, I like the Game of Thrones Bud Light crossover commercial. That was pretty cool. Uh, and there were some other decent ones, some that I'd seen before the M and M's commercial with, uh, what's her name? Christina. Is that her name? Christ I forget her name, but anyway, that was pretty good with the M and M's bar. Tommy Bernard. Well, good morning from Delaware. He had a great day of sales as well. I know that's what I was thinking too, Tommy. It's like, I had some really good sales, but it was earlier in the day, like after, the Super Bowl was on. I didn't. Oh, I sold one thing after the Super Bowl was on, but that was an item that definitely won't be returned. I, well, I say that <laughs> famous last words of a fool, the fool. <laughs> you will, Marcy. You're getting your sourcing off the ground. Good morning, Anissa from Pennsylvania. Yeah, you'll get it off the ground, Marcy, and you'll be fine. It seems like as soon as you send stuff into FBA, sales start happening, you know. So I wished I could get that off the ground. But like I said, I, Justin talked about it a little bit this morning. I talked about it a lot last week was spreading myself too thin, and I don't want to do that. And uh, I think if I tried to jump back in the FBA, I'd spread myself too thin. But I do want to. That's one of the goals. And this, that was the lamest Super Bowl ever. Yeah, a lot of people don't don't like the defensive games and that's what that was that was a defensive game uh, let me see here my rule i mean I'm, i don't have a nfl team necessarily uh my rule for root, root, which team i root for in the super bowl is which team has the most arkansas razorback players and that would be the patriots yep the patriots have uh trey flowers and dietrich wise jr both starters on their defensive line and they have Cody Hollister, a practice squad player, all that went to Arkansas. And uh, the Rams have one, uh, Brandon Allen, who is their third string quarterback, went to Arkansas. So rooting for the Patriots, and they won. But that's uh, that's my uh, arbitrary way of rooting which team I root for in the NFL. Yep. Uh, Marcy says making money back is the goal. Yep. That's all building inventory and uh, it's the same way with eBay, Amazon, anything you build your inventory so you can actually start making profits. You know, Denise is working from home due to an awesome ice storm in Minnesota. Ooh, boo. 
growing up, growing up in Arkansas, that's typically our winter weather was ice. So I, you know, you learned how to ice is horrible. <laughs> that gets, it gets me on a tangent first that thing out of the gate, you know, life is about stories and that's all we have. We are what we have lived, our experiences. When I was, I think I was 16 years old and my, uh, sister was dating a guy, Justin, who is now her husband has been for over 20 years, known him since he was a sophomore in high school. I was taking him home to his dad's house in Bono, Arkansas, not Bono, Bono, Arkansas. And his dad lived near Bono bridge, really hilly in that area. If you don't know the area, it's, it's, you know, kind of out of the flatlands more to the north of, uh, of Jonesboro and, uh, ice and ice storm was coming and I hadn't really hit, but it hit hard and heavy when I was taking him home and we got stuck in the middle of nowhere. We couldn't move. We were like, even walking, I felt, fell like three or four times walking, trying to get out of there. We, we finally found a, uh, like an overhang on a church that we kind of hid under and we was like, crap, what are we going to do? We can barely walk, you know? And, uh, a tow truck came by and we flagged them down and they said, yeah, we can get you out of there and stuff. And they, uh, tried to just drive to where we were stuck in the ice and they got stuck and, uh, they wrapped a chain around their tire and they got themselves out and they just kept on going, <laughs> which I don't blame them, but damn, at least they could have gave us a ride. But, uh, so he's like, well, we got to walk and, uh, we made it slipping and sliding and falling and everything to the main highway, which, you know, the main highways are better taken care of than the side roads. And luckily a uh, state trooper saw us and picked us up and, and took us back to, uh, he didn't even take us to my house cause we were that we were pretty far from my house, but uh, he took us to a store where somebody else picked us up and gave us a ride back to my house. Crazy. Yes. Yeah, Christina Applegate, the M&M's commercial Christina Applegate. But anyway, that's a story. Ice, ice in Arkansas. Yeah. Oh, anyway, good morning, Sean Matheny. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, it jumped on me. Craig watched two minutes of the game. That's it. I watched the whole thing, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. The T-Mobile lift commercial. I must have zoned out on that one, Nathan. Marcy passed out during the game. Yeah, wait, barely at the end. I was like tired. It was past my bedtime. Good morning, Ann Nielsen. Thank you for popping in. Oh, that's awesome. The Pennsylvania, it's warming up. I, I've been watching. I, watch, I try to watch taco stacks every day. And yeah, till when the weather's good and bad in Pennsylvania. He was out trash picking in the bad, bad weather, but he found some stuff. Good morning, reseller Rockefeller. Thank you for popping in. Yeah, Marcy took a social media break. I try to ignore social media all I can, you know, it is a useful tool, but that's what I try to treat it as a tool. Uh, like all my reunions, but my Marine Corps reunion and my high school reunions all being organized basically over Facebook. I don't even know if I'm going to go to my high school reunion, the something they're doing. I don't really agree with. Um, tell me guys what you think. Um, you know, uh, tailgating or meeting up at, you know, the homecoming is fine. That's great. That's what it should be. You know, this, but one guy who's pretty successful guy and I have no, I don't care if you're successful or not, you know, that's great. If you are, if you're not, whatever, you're still a person and everything, but they decided to have like the big get together at this guy's house. I don't agree with that because it to me it just means that less people will show up because they're like i don't want to see this guy showing off his stuff he has a pool all this stuff yeah i don't agree with it either and i'm i'm a pretty successful guy myself but uh for all those that aren't as successful i just i just it seems like rubbing it into people's noses and i don't i don't dig that i'm not that kind of person so i don't know if i'm gonna go yeah that's just my two cents so that's warming up in Alabama. Good morning, Destiny, the Shamrock Picker. Thank you for popping in. I got this by Dawn. Good morning. Thank you, Anissa. Make them. Force them. Hit that thumbs up. <laughs> uh, Dawn sent some shipments in. 
Dusty K is from Bono, small world. Yeah, Bono is a small town too. So, yep. My sister still lives there. My sister and my brother-in-law and her kids. They, you know, my uh, niece that I talk about that's in college now at Arkansas State. She graduated from Westside there in Bono. And my my nephew's a freshman at Westside. And it's funny, though, because my sister and I went to Nettleton High School. And at least back in the day, it's not that way anymore because Nettleton's so much bigger. But Westside and Nettleton were rivals, like more mortal rivals. You know, I mean, honestly, we beat them every time. But <laughs> how can you be a rival if you beat them every time? But, uh, yeah, the two schools were about the same. But now Nettleton is, like, way bigger. And uh, they don't even play anymore. Westside's still a smaller school. Oh, you can do it, Anissa. It is complicated, but you can do it. Good morning, pick and roll. Good morning, Joe. The family flips from Conway, Arkansas. Good morning, Glenn. The swamp pickers. Thank you for popping in. Ooh. Big Papa Yo. Good morning. Good morning. No, I haven't heard any Super Bowl jokes. Oh, I did. Actually, I did hear a couple, but it gets too political, so I won't. I won't repeat them. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, it's the, and it, it truly may be innocent, maybe, you know, the, but there are so many venues and stuff you could have places at. Why would someone have it at their house? It just doesn't sit right with me, you know, but I wasn't involved in the planning. They planned it. They said, this is what we're doing. Well, they can do it. You know, what I may do is just go for that, the homecoming, like tailgate and go to the football game and not show up to the thing on Saturday. Cause I just, like I said, I don't, I'm not about the braggarts and the uh, narcissist and the look at me, look at what I have, look at what I did. I'm not about that. Cause everyone and success is different to everyone anyway, you know? So yeah, it just, it just doesn't set right with me. Anyway, yeah, Glenn said his 30th was at someone's house and didn't go. Yeah, it, it didn't set right. Oh, that's the other thing, Michelle Lathan. That's why I think it's more of a bragging thing because this guy is like paying for the catering and everything. Like, why would you do that? I want to pay my share if we're going to do something, you know, it just doesn't set well with me, you know. Good morning, Gate City Picker. Thank you for popping in. Hello, Dusty Lewis. Good morning in Georgia. Oh, that's good. That's nice, Monty. Yeah. Uh, we just, you know, this past year, one of our vacations, we went to Boston. And I love Boston as a city, you know. So, yeah, it's pretty nice. It's just like any big city. Though. Like we live in D.C., it's all hustle and bustle. But they have some very cool historic things in Boston. Really liked it. Moronic Pest. I've never gone to my reunions. I saw a picture of the 25-year one, and most people were barely recognizable. Well, yeah, most people. It's it's a, one of my favorite movies ever is Girls Point Blank. I'm a big fan of John Cusack. I like most of his movies, and the Girls Point Blank cracks me up. They went to reunion. And his sister's in it, Joan Cusack. And she's talking about her reunion. It's like, and she said, it's just like everyone had swelled. <laughs> and that's true. <laughs> I know I have. When I was in high school, my, when I graduated high school, I was my current height, six foot two, and I was 175 pounds soaking wet, you know. And now I'm, well, I've lost a lot of weight, but I'm about 235, you know. So I'm hoping to be in the 220s by then, but it's not for them. It's for me, you know. So. It's just if everyone had swelled. Yep, that's what I think, Denise. And I, that's why I think I'm still going, Denise, because I'm going to hang out on Friday night with people that I really want to see, I really want to talk to. And uh, <laughs> I went to my 20, this is my 25-year high school reunion coming up. And I went to the 20, you know, five years ago. <laughs> And it didn't hit me till later, but this is how it went down. We had a, uh, a Friday night meet and greet kind of at the junior high school. They just let us use the cafeteria there at the, the junior high school, not the high school. Well, maybe it was the high school. I don't know. Everything had changed, you know? So, but, uh, we had a meet and greet there Friday night and that was cool. And at the meet and greet, I had uh, several people come up to me and go, you want to go out and, uh, we're going to go out and have a few 
you know, drinks and we want you to come. I'm like, yeah, that's great. And she was like, and Stacy's her name. Stacy was like, I knew you'd be down. I'm like, yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know if they asked everyone or what, but there was a group about, there's probably 20, 25 people there at the meet and greet and about 12 of us went out for drinks and stuff or showed up. And I didn't know who they had asked. I didn't organize it, you know, but this group of 12 were people that I really had hung out with in high school, people that I known and, uh, were pretty good friends with, even though after high school, you drift apart and everything, but uh, we hung out we had a good time and everything. And it wasn't until later that, and these were, you know, I wasn't in, in the, I was well liked, you know, I played sports, did all this stuff, you know, but, uh, there was a group that was called the preps or the preppies, you know, the real snob, basically the rich kids to what it boils down to. Cause we were, I was poor and most of my other friends were, you know, the lower middle class to poor, you know, <laughs> and it hit me go in high school, they were the prep preppies. They were the snobs. They were the popular kids, you know, even though all of us were, if you look back on it, all of us were friends. Did we exclude them? Cause we never asked them to do stuff we did and would, would but would they have, I don't know, you know, but, uh, it, it makes you think, you know, cause when we did that at my 20 year reunion, did we exclude them? Did they even ask them to come? Would they have, if we've asked them, <laughs> but anyway i don't know you know it's just those random thoughts you have good morning will honda hangouts thank you for tuning in that and that that could be michelle michelle said maybe he thinks he's being generous and maybe but uh yeah it's still not necessary i don't think people should pay their own i'm a i'm a pretty much a, you should pay your way, you know? And, and the thing is, is even if people aren't able to afford it, I would be more than willing to, uh, you know, have a pool of, you know, if you can pay extra, some people can't afford it. I would kick into that. And that's a, a group thing though. This guy is taking it upon himself to pay for everything. Don't like that. <laughs> yep. Don't like that. Let me see here. The Gate City Picker said they were going to go theirs, but then realized I wasn't friends with any of them then. And really, probably you probably meant didn't like high school. So, uh, yeah, my mom was like that. She didn't like the people. So, uh, she never went to hers either. Whereas my dad would go and he, would, he enjoyed it. Good morning, Andy, the Parrot Head Picker. Thank you for popping in. That's true, Craig, you know. There is something about face to face though. I really enjoyed the 20, just seeing some people, you know, oh, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Yeah, I think so, Denise. And you know, when I go, I can see family too. So it's not only for the reunion, it's in October, it's, you know, homecoming football homecoming. So we'll watch the game and, and my, uh, my uh, nephew plays football as well. So hopefully I'll be able to catch one of his games. So yeah, it's a dual purpose trip. Oh, well, thank you, Denise. Yeah. Hit it, hit it. It just means dusty. It just means they're moderators. Uh, sometimes you get some trolls in the chat and they can ban hammer them or smack them upside the head with that wrench. Definitely necessary. When I first started out, you know, just like anyone, I didn't have any, but eventually get trolls like last, I think the last chat, we had some numb skull from Serbia or somewhere spamming the chat and not Russian. I'm Serbian. I don't care. <laughs> well, that's okay. Welcome. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I'm sure you get this a lot, but your name, the Serena, is that how you say it? Serena. Just like it's spelled Serena, Serena, Serena. Sorry, just got here right in the middle of the That's all right. People pop in and out. Whoop. <laughs> Cap. Uh, people pop in and out all the time. Yeah, there's a there's a page. It actually takes you to the uh, Google page, Dusty, and uh, you can change it there. I forget where the links is and everything, you know, because I haven't done that. But uh, yeah. 
never been Andy. Like I said, it's, it was fun, you know, and I'll probably, I will go to the 25th. I just don't think I'm going to go to the get together at that guy's house. And the thing is the guy that's having it, I liked him. I mean, I can't say we were close friends, but we were acquaintances. We did a skit together in the talent show, this guy and I, and it went over well. We didn't win, but people loved it, you know, cause we, we were being funny. We did like a, kind of a skit and, uh, yeah, this guy is not, he's, he, he's done well for himself. He owns a couple of, uh, state farm, like insurance agencies or whatever. And he's done well for himself, which is good. I don't mind that. Like I said, success is fine, but, uh, it's one thing that when you flaunt that success, you know, that's what I don't like. Yeah, that's what I think too, Will. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm really hesitant of that. Oh, did you destiny? Isn't that crazy? You'll like have none and then you'll have three, you know, that's crazy. Yeah. Good morning, the basement crafter, new name. Thank you for popping in. Feel free to join in if you have any questions or anything. Okay, Serena. Yeah, that's what I figured. I figured it was one of those of Serena or Serena. Yeah, thank you. Good morning, Adam. Thank you for coming in. ADDG, Adam. Joe, I have not had any live trolls, but I've had many leave me some nice comments. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Wait, and... You know, I have my email in my, uh, uh, descriptions and I've gotten some doozy emails too. Um, I'll leave my email there, you know, people to, you know, if they have a question or anything. And I have had a few people email asking some basic questions. I can't take a lot of time doing it cause you know, of course I'm busy, but, uh, yeah. Good morning, Mike. Yeah, relatively anything is better than you guys have been having in Chicago. Right, Mike? Good morning, Jillian. Thank you for popping in. You know, Tommy, I wish there was. And I'm sure there may be one out there somewhere, but I don't have one, you know, because it was pretty funny. <laughs> At least in my hindsight, it was funny. It may not have been that funny, but it went over pretty well. I think some that year, some dude, uh, think it's a guy named Joey Perry. He was always in karate. I think he won the talent show that year and he was truly talented. He owns a, like a couple of dojos in that in Jonesboro. Now he still had done it and done it in his whole life. But, uh, I have, a uh, VHS tapes that I've been meaning for years to, uh, take digital of all my high school football games you know and that's if hopefully those vhs tape vhs tapes still work because you know they degrade over time so okay i'm gonna note that down dusty the georgia picker georgia picker is going to be dusty so now you have to change it you're on my list All right. Good morning, Melissa Soto. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, you're in Minnesota as well, right, Melissa? Uh, uh, Denise was telling us it was icy in Minnesota. <laughs> Andy, from minus 53 to plus 45 in just a couple of days. Wow. That is a huge difference. Crazy, crazy stuff. Okay, so how was everyone's? Uh, I, I know a lot of people have said they're they pretty good sales, and I had really good sales. You know, I had, uh, I have, let me see here. I think I have 13 or 14 to pack up. I got a few of them pulled. I don't have everything pulled. Yeah, I got two on my second account. Whoops, where'd it go? Man. I got so many windows pulled up. I can't find everything. <laughs> uh, oh, there it is. I got you. Got it. Uh, two on my second account and I have 11 on my main account. So 13 to package up and I'm awaiting payment on still on two items. So yeah, pretty good. Really, really good sales. Let me see here. Uh, 
uh, so Glenn had four on eBay, one on Poshmark. Good stuff. Oh, it sucks, Big Papa. Sorry to hear that. And it is cold out here. Uh, Marcy, my sales tank haven't been listing much. Yeah, it, it, yeah, I can tell a palpable difference. Like when I was sick, I didn't list, and I took that break to rearrange everything. Sales tank when you don't list, it is just awful. Jillian has eight. That's really good. Really good. Really, really good. Dusty has nine. The future Georgia picker. That's good stuff. Man, that's huge, Will. That's a big difference. The L has two Amazon, two ABA, two Poshmark, and one Mercari. Oh, spread out all over. That's good stuff. Yeah, no thanks on the freezing ring. I, I can tell you that. Oh, that's awesome, Dusty. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, I had one really big doozy of a sale that really lifted the uh, average sales price. Honda Hangouts is in New England. I can't remember if it was Vermont or New Hampshire or but he's in New England somewhere. Oh, you're in Ohio. My bad. I was thinking of, I know I was thinking, I was thinking about Dan. My bad. Sorry, Will. In Ohio. My bad. Andy sold a pair of boots on Posh for about $85. So kind of slow. Oh, that's good, Denise. Seven. Destiny has nine from eBay. Melissa has seven sales since Thursday. Oh, that's not bad, Melissa. Seven sales since Thursday, but only 76 posted. That's pretty darn good. Awesome reseller. 22. What's up, reseller man? I like your new little icon. I saw you talking about it with Justin. That's his reseller man icon. 16 going out. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, Glenn has one going to Australia. A global shipping program, Glenn. That's good, Jillian. Yeah, got a list. List, list, list. Okay, we do our... Uh, my. This is kind of becoming a regular thing. My uh, YouTube overview... I'm thinking about it. Now that we're 30 minutes in. And like I said, YouTube has been kind of slow. I think it's because of the Super Bowl. You know, a lot of people were watching stuff yesterday, but uh, I've only gained two subscribers. I got 1,434 subscribers. Whoops, let me pull up so I can see what I'm doing here. 1,434. There it is for 100. We dropped below 200,000 watch minutes the past 28 days. 185,091 watch minutes. 13,593 views. There it is. Uh, estimated revenue or yeah, revenue for the past 28 days, $92 and five cents. And that's still hanging about 75% ad revenue and about 25% super chat. Uh, Oh yeah, I gotta go to view more. Uh, average view duration still on that thirteen and a half minutes where it has been hanging. Uh, Two hundred and three new subscribers the past twenty days, twenty eight days. There it is. Sixty six percent of watches watch minutes are subscribers. Thirty three point four percent non subscribers. 97.1% likes versus dislikes in the top video of the past 28 days right now is episode 70, 25 items that sold on eBay with 13,259 watch minutes. Yep. So that's what it is. Ad revenue. That's what everyone really wants or the revenue is, what did I say? $92 and five cents the past 28 days. Woohoo. Like I said, that's about 75% ad revenue, 25% super chat or so. Okay, scrolling back up. Oh, well, that's good, Maria. Maria sold nine since Friday night, but it's a pretty good weekend. Uh, Mike Longo sold an air quality detector for 150 on eBay. That's awesome. Dollar 99 a good bill, a good will. That's a good margins. Good, good margins. 
cool stuff. Jillian, 210 listings, not a lot, but more and more every day. Absolutely. And that's what you build towards. You know, it looks like you're getting close to being maxed out on a premium store, the 250. So yeah, take the next step or a basic store, take the next step to a premium store. Big Papio just logged into eBay, got the message. You have items in people's carts, lower the price and make the sale. <laughs> you know, it's funny as every once in a while, I'll do that and make an offer to watchers. And usually it doesn't work, but I did that on Friday or Saturday, Saturday morning. I did a Saturday morning. I sent about out about 20 offers to people that are watching stuff and fully not expecting anything. And I made three sales off of those, which is really good. I was really surprised and happy with that. So, yeah. Land shark picker is almost at almost 650 subs inching closer and closer to the thousand. Yeah. You can link your channel, Craig. I have no problem with that. Everybody, I'm sure everybody here is subscribed to Craig, but yeah, Craig's a good guy. If you can go sub to him. Oh, thanks Jillian. Yeah, we do appreciate it. I know most people enjoy the what sold videos best and those drop on thursdays but these uh pack and ships people seem to like you know that's why i do them uh i'm doing you know this one this morning and uh i have you know all my stuff to package up which i may start doing i may not depending on what topics we get on but uh, i'll definitely i'll have the uh i'm filming the uh haul video this afternoon or something so i still want to get stuff listed though so i got to fit in at least getting five or ten things listed Mondays are really busy for me and also need to head out. Usually I go to the grocery stores on Tuesday, but I need to head out and go to at least one grocery store today. Cause we're out of coffee creamer. You can't be out of coffee creamer. Use the rest of the coffee creamer this morning. So I've got to go get some coffee creamer at minimum. <laughs> uh, good morning, rusted raccoon. O'Shan's deals. Thank you for popping in Gina. Uh, I think we've had a few people in from New York state, Jillian. Um, I can't remember exactly, exactly. excuse me, <laughs> getting hungry on the, uh, yeah, absolutely. Reseller. It's, it's really, you know, get busy doing stuff. It's hard to fit in time to do the videos. <clears throat> Okay, had to cough there and mute the mic. Oh, wow, Maria. $30 brand new sealed Bluetooth arm control device for gaming and drone sold for $428. That is awesome. Yeah, reseller rock. Yeah, I'm real Rockefeller, right? Big YouTube money. Yeah, 90 bucks in a month. And, most, and a big portion of that is kind people doing super chats. You know, $2 here, $3 there, occasional five, you know. It adds up. Uh, yeah, well, I was kind of surprised too. And that's what, you know, with the live videos, I was hoping it would take that average up to over the 18 minute mark, but it just hasn't happened. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. If people don't know, if you hit that about 18 minutes and above average watch time, your ad revenue goes way up, you know, you get rewarded. <laughs> Ooh, chat jumped on me. Sorry, trying to catch up. Whoa, scrolling, scrolling. Uh, separated, we probably don't make any money from that. If there's no ads, if no ads run, we don't make any money from it. That's the only, only way, only way on YouTube you make money is from ads running, people giving you super chats. And if people use the Amazon affiliate links I have in the descriptions to buy stuff, that is about, and you know, I have a Patreon, but I only have two patrons and that's a monthly thing. Um, yeah, that's about, that's the only way you can make money on YouTube really. Good morning, Keith. Good morning, command post picker, Keith.
Yep, yep. Uh, let me see here. Thank you, Will. Hit the like button. Appreciate that. Yeah, that's a good question, Craig. I don't know. I use, I, I have PlayStation View, but I just use it through my smart TV. You know, I don't actually have a PlayStation, you know, that I view through. I view because I see ads through the PlayStation View and the YouTube app on through the PlayStation View. I see ads on stuff. And my role with ads, if it's just a 30 second ad, I'll watch it. You know, I'll let it run doing whatever. But if it's one of those two minute ones, yeah, I'll let it run for 15, 20 seconds to skip. And you should do that too. Even if it's my stuff, if it's a one of those crazy long ads, skip it. Silly. Let's see here. Sorry, scrolling, trying to catch up with this cat. Good morning, Danny. EMM. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning from Charleston, South Carolina. Yes, <laughs> my coffee creamer stuff is just catching up with the chat. That's how far behind I am. <laughs> I'm trying to catch up. Sorry. Oh man, Glenn, you got to go out. You got to go to the grocery store, bud. If he's out of coffee, period. Well, awesome, Glenn. So you gained a few. That's good. Good stuff. And you can link your chat, your uh, channel to Glenn. You know, I don't care. <laughs> yeah if you're going to do flavored creamer you should just do regular coffee that's what we do we do regular uh pete's whole bean coffee that we grind but we do a, a sugar-free hazelnut creamer which i really enjoy and i really super love the aldi sugar-free creamer but they've stopped uh carrying it for whatever reason i uh i tweeted at aldi and they just said they won't have it for the free foreseeable future because i don't do a uh, sugar and I'm like, well, that stinks. So now I have to go to a food line grocery store and they have a sugar-free hazelnut coffee mate. And it's okay, but it's not as good as the Aldi sugar-free hazelnut. It is what it is, you know. Nothing I can do about it. Yeah, absolutely, reseller Rockefeller. Uh I'm just reading. I just got your comment about you. Uh, he said, I believe every reseller on YouTube honestly deserves to make more money because people really don't understand how much time and energy it takes to make videos regularly. Yeah. You're right. <clears throat> okay. Absolutely, Jillian. And uh, Justin and I have talked about that how message. There's no telling what the message, what it could be, but yeah, it can be isolating. It can be a lonely existence. You know, I'm kind of a loner though, so it doesn't bother me. You know, I have my dogs and my cats to keep me company and that's good enough for me. I think the eBay message, anybody get, I at least get two or three eBay messages a week from experts saying, your item should say this and that and it's this and that and whatever i'm like seriously people have it's just like trolls and spammers and stuff on youtube that send me emails like hate emails and troll the chat and these people have really time for this stuff it's crazy i just find it baffling my mind can't i can't wrap my head around that oh yeah the craig's pocket watch sale was awesome he sent me the uh the screen capture of the picture of that sale on eBay is an awesome sale. Yeah, Jillian, absolutely. And that's why the pop, the uh, working hangouts are popular. I'm trying to figure out a way to, I guess how I have to use headphones with this microphone with the working hangouts if I want to participate, but uh, I don't have any blue and I would need Bluetooth like Andy, the pair of head picker got, and I don't have any because I'm, you know, obviously I'm working. I can't be tethered by a wire to the microphone. So yeah, I have to figure that out. Nate, anybody else feel eBay sales that are totally down? I have worse weeks in a long time. And it is for some people, Nate. And um, I had a pretty good weekend. So that's that just shows you it's just, you know, hit and miss. It's crazy. You know, some people in the chat have had steady. Some have had bad. Some have had really good, you know. So it's just, um, yeah, hit and miss. My January total overall was only 20% down from December. And that I thought that was pretty good. 
you know, cause December sales were really good and I was 20% down from, uh, yeah, the last Christmas sales. So not too bad. Let me see here. Well, that's good. Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter says Mercari is doing well for them. Better than Poshmark. That's good. That's good stuff. <laughs> Jillian, that you do you get the, you get the messages from experts as well? Yeah. It's just, man, why do people spend their time? Whew, it's cold. And Danny says, I love trolled. It's guaranteed that someone somewhere is seeing what I'm doing. Yeah, that's true. That's the, what there's some principle. I can't remember the principle, but if you want the correct answer on a question, post somewhere the wrong answer to that question and somebody will correct you. Guaranteed. I forget what that principle is called, but it's a scientific principle that, that is, uh, yeah. Yeah. Jillian, uh, usually, uh, Justin RVA flips, it kind of rotates Justin RVA flips, John, the Cincinnati picker, Lonnie on t both of his channels, uh, garage flips and his other eBay testing video, whatever, uh, channel, uh, Andy, the parrot head picker will rotate like a working hangout thing. And some I've done it every once in a while, not that often. I think I've done it once or twice, but, uh, yeah, they, they all get on there together. There'll be four or five or six people rotating in and out the chat. And it's just kind of a working hangout while people are doing whatever they need to do, whether it's listing or shipping or whatever. And, uh, Justin's really the driving force behind that. And since he's back, I'm sure that'll be happening every day this week. I think he mentioned this morning on his show that him and Lonnie are definitely doing one after I wrap up. So yeah, I keep an eye out for that. <clears throat> uh, let me see here. Oh, that's good. Mike 10% listing fee reduction as in fees. I don't know. Yeah. I haven't had food. My brain's kind of not working. Yeah, Jillian, absolutely. And that's why I sent out those offers that day. I sent out like the 20 offers because I just was trying to, you know, jar something in eBay. And like I said, I got three sales off of that one and then sales were consistent anyway. So, yep. And Craig, um, <laughs> yeah, Jillian. And I, I usually just ignore them because I'm not going to waste my time responding to them, but yeah. The, the, the one moron that bought the $200 coat from me and then asked questions afterwards, I filed a non-paying thing on him and he still hasn't paid or responded to questions. I'm just like, why do people do that? You buy something and then ask questions afterward. That is the number one red flag on a bad buyer. They buy something and then ask a million questions, just cancel the sale. <laughs> There's almost a guarantee that there's going to be an issue if you actually get it sent to them. 99%, you know. Let me see here. Uh, Steampunk Town asked, what time do you break for fast? It's usually about 11 o'clock, 1030 to 1130 in that range. So I eat dinner about six or o'clock in the evening or so, and we'll fast till 1030 to 1130. So that, what is that? That's 12, 16 to 17 hours or so. That's how long I fast. Yep. And when I break my fast, I usually just have a protein shake and maybe a V8, a low sodium V8. And usually I won't eat any real solid food till 1230 to 130 or so. So, yeah. It works for me, you know, with these diets, all these fads out there, you know, everyone's different, you know, so like there's no way my wife could fast that long. She would just be like, 
a zombie if she was if she fasted that long i make her breakfast every morning you know so usually a pretty healthy breakfast i have some scrambled eggs and avocado usually so yep um let me see here That's how your neutral feedback buyer did you, Marcy? Yeah. Just, uh, <laughs> yeah, Craig did a, uh, video on offers to watchers. Yeah. It's, it's been a few weeks or a month or so, isn't it, Craig? But yeah. Yep. Yes, Melissa, I do intermittent fasting. Oh, they call it intermittent fasting, but I do it every day, including weekends. Do 16 to 18 hours of fasting every day. <laughs> Glenn's got his coffee coming. That's awesome. I've already had my cup. And there's an argument out there. If, if drinking a cup of coffee breaks your fast, and maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But bottom line is in my coffee, there's zero calories in it. So gotta have my coffee in the morning danny emm how many sites do you use for shipping purposes on ebay in your opinion which has served you the best um i use strictly ebay and pirate ship um before this rate increase at the end of january i was almost exclusively using pirate ship uh, now that the increases came, eBay is cheaper most of the time with their commercial. If you're top rated, that qualification, if you're a top rated seller, the commercial plus discount on eBay has been about 20 to 25 cents better than pirate ship, but pirate ship still has cubic. So if you have something that, um, qualifies for cubic pirate ship can still be cheaper. Now, with all that being said, um, uh, FedEx is cheaper sometimes on stuff. So if you have something that is big and heavy and going far, always check uh, FedEx. Can save you money. It saved me a lot of money before. So yeah, those are the the two sites because you can use FedEx through eBay. Uh, what it does is it'll charge your eBay account. You won't pay for that label right then, but it'll charge your uh, account. So when you pay your eBay fees, that FedEx uh, shipment is in that in that fee. So yeah, <laughs> Jillian, your husband tried to fast two hours in here and bite into Apple. <laughs> it takes getting used to, and that's what I have. My sister has asked me about this, and uh, a lot of people have asked me about. Um, everything takes getting used to. When you're used to just eating whenever you want to eat, it takes getting used to fasting 16 to 18 hours. But being hungry is not necessarily a bad thing. You know, right now I'm starving. Uh, I'm, I'm really hungry, but I'm not going to eat anything for another at least 45 minutes, maybe an hour and a half. I can handle it. It's mind over matter, you know, so I'm functioning. I feel fine. Um, yeah. The really, really, really hard thing for a lot of people is getting over the sugar. And I don't care. And I know you can't equate it to like a heroin addict or anything, but sugar is a drug. I have had cravings. I've had withdrawals. Uh, but And I have been off of sugar for two years. And it is still hard to this day, you know. So, yeah, sugar is a drug. Just like caffeine is a drug. Let me see here. Oh, thanks for that, Serena, the Bluetooth headphones. Yeah. I was looking at some the other day and I, I may make the plunge on a pair. I don't know. Maybe I'll add them to my Amazon wish list and yeah, we'll see. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't, like I said, I do not count coffee in my fasting. You know, so, uh, Don have been doing one meal a day, intermittent fasting uh, with bulletproof coffee. Yeah. Bulletproof coffee. If everyone doesn't know, is just a, it's a fatty coffee. You put like literal, like unsalted butter in it. 
at least I think I've never done it, but I've, I've seen the research. You put some like, what's that oil, MCT oil and or unsalted butter or both, you know, I've heard it's pretty good actually, but uh, I haven't tried it. That's back when I was looking into keto, but yeah, keto didn't work for me. Oh yeah. Good to get it out of there though, Craig, you know, you look at it that way. That's why I look at it. It's like, man, I'm dreading packing that, but it'll be out of my storage. <laughs> That's what I like. Yep. Melissa. Absolutely. My, uh, my wife is really trying hard to get off the sugar and it's, it's difficult, you know, it's, it's really difficult. Uh, let me see. It jumped on me. A uh, Michelle, I saw on Facebook, someone got hit for a thousand dollar FedEx bill on a one time, one item bean bag chair. Yeah, I saw that too. And I didn't see the details, but that was insane. I would be like doing a charge back on my credit card. I'd be doing something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ghee. Yeah. A lot of people use ghee as well. Yeah. Yeah, I believe that, Jillian. She says that sugar stimulates the same areas in the brain that crack cocaine does. I 100% believe it. Sugar is a drug. I personally don't do honey, Jillian. The only time I'll have honey is if I'm sick. That's the only time I'll do honey is uh, I'll do honey and lemon and tea because it does it does wonders for the throat, for, for me at least, so. Yeah, I don't know, Danny. That may be true. I just, I just don't know. I think I think it's a bigger than that. You know, these increases aren't a thing that just happens. This thing they usually have been planned for a year or two in advance, so it's hard it's hard to tell. There you go. Don gave the recipe for bulletproof. Yep. A reseller Rockefeller, my health is wacky and cancer never helped me either. I can understand that. Well, I mean, not, I've never had cancer, but my mother did and, you know, I can, I get it. Yep. Yeah. Hot toddies. They add a little whiskey into it. Marcy. Yeah. That's what my mother's cure all was. Yeah, give a shot, reseller. I've heard a lot of people rave about bulletproof coffee. Denise, uh, when you send offers to watchers, what type of message do you add to the note section? You know what's funny is that before I would add a message like, oh, yeah, you know, thank you for watching. Here's a special offer for you, you know, and uh, blah, 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 or whatever. But this past time, I just sent the offer, just the amount, no message. And I had more success with that than I had with sending a message. Sent them an offer, no message, and I had three sales out of 20 cent. So, <laughs> who knows? You know, I know Andy does a nice little thing when he sends a offer as well, but you know, it's crazy. Good morning, Uncle Warren. Thank you for popping in. Uh, Danny, that's what I was thinking because most big box stores would have online sites as well. Yeah, they would, like, you know. All of them. I talked about that the other day, you know, Eddie Bauer, LL Bean, it doesn't matter. They all have their own special deal with whatever FedEx, UPS, postal service that they use. They all have their own deal period, you know? So, and I've even seen resellers that does enough volume that they have deals with FedEx. You can get an account rep, even as a reseller to get a volume deal on FedEx. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and less work too, you guys, Denise and Don. Yeah, send them the, the offer and just let it fly. Good morning, South of Martindale. How are you doing this morning? Okay. So 54 minutes in, I could pack some stuff, but yeah, whatever. We still got things flowing. Let's see what that message was on eBay, just for giggles. Just for giggles. Oh, other thing. Um, 
Yeah, caught up on chat finally. <laughs> yep, yep. Okay. Oh, this one actually was helpful. They, uh, I had a, I did, I had a typo and a, and a title and, and they pointed it out. So there you go. So sometimes they are helpful. And I did have a typo and a title probably was auto correct. Cause I, I list on, uh, I list on my phone still and a lot of people, and there's no wrong way, you know, um, a lot of people will batch things, you know, take their photos and then put the photos on their computer or laptop and then lists and everything. I still, I don't know. There's something mentally about me. I like, you know, I have my photo area over there, which I'm still going to do a video on, but, uh, I just got a, one of the uh, screens was back ordered and I'm getting that this week. Actually, it wasn't back ordered. It got stuck in Indianapolis in this polar vortex, but it's on the way now. And, uh, I've got all the parts for that now and everything. Sorry. Nose is still running. But I still, I will do a video on that, uh, photo set up but yeah so what was my point there oh yeah i still use the phone for listing stuff so auto correct if i'm not paying attention i'm going fast auto correct will get me sometimes so it's always good if you list stuff on your phone to go through and review your listings yeah thrifter junker vintage hunter promoted listings sales thoughts i have not done a sale in a long time uh, I did use promoted listings during Christmas and because it does get very competitive, but, uh, it's all of what you want to do. I make really good sales without them, but yeah, I, I have nothing against them. You know, if you do like a plus 1% promoted listing or whatever, it works. So yeah, the Monty list is on a list on his phone as well. Will getting caught up to live chat deserves a like. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm scrolling and scrolling. I'll scroll back because I want to see everyone's stuff. You know, I'll try to see everyone's stuff. And I'm still at the point where like, if you go into like Scott, the bearded pickers channel and Scott's a good dude, I have a lot of respect for Scott. His chat flies so fast. You can't, I just, there's no way you can keep up with it. He just has to grab one every once in a while that he can see, you know, cause he'll have, you know, two, three, 400 people in the chat you know and it just flies just but with 65 70 watching it still manageable i still try to see everyone you know because you guys are here you're you're here you're spending your time watching me so i want to you know respond to you all right thanks reseller yeah go hit that post office thanks for popping in appreciate it thanks danny Um, yeah, no doubt, Julian. Yeah. And, and that's, yeah, and this you can, and I, and I do, like I said, that one, I got to go back and uh, change it. It's only in one word, but, uh, I sold something in my last, uh, what sold video, uh, if you'll go watch it and I'm sure most of you have, but there's a, uh, a, uh, misspelling in one of the titles in one of those items in that was so video. I didn't even know it until I was, uh, uh, reviewing it after my wife edited the video. I saw it and I was like, what the crap? There's a typo in the title and it's still sold. So, yeah. Oh yeah. And there is quirks with the app uh, that I do not like either. There's things I like about it. Like it'll take your title and automatically copy it into your description box. I like that part. Um, but there are little quirks that I do not like either. Like every time I have to go in to the payment and hit immediate payment required. Every time. I hate that. Nope, Tommy. Yeah, I've tried batch listing and I, I'm, I am faster with the mobile than batch so yeah and i'm like monty it just feels right for me you know that but there's no correct way for anything you know it's what you enjoy 
you be you, you know, the, the cameras on phones are so good now that yeah, it doesn't make a difference. Oh, thanks Rusty raccoon. Yeah. It's, it's, it's baffling. You know, I was a, I was in, uh, when I owned my business, I was an adjunct professor at the university of Missouri teaching some business classes. And, you know, I had some classes with 80 students in there, you know, I never had one of those big auditorium classes with 200, but, you know, I had big classes with 60, 80 students in there. And this is better because you guys actually pay attention. They didn't pay attention. <laughs> Half of them on their, you know, even if you told them to put their phones down and stuff, people would still sneak their phones and they'd think you're oblivious, but you see it, you know, but yeah, it is what it is. Kids will be kids. My wife and I were talking about that yesterday. It's like when I was in high school, I didn't, I had a pretty, I mean, I love my mother and I've talked about her before of what she dealt with and everything, but, uh, she was legally blind for multiple sclerosis. So she, you know, did her best, but she couldn't, you know, her health was bad. And my dad was an alcoholic, drunk, violent asshole. I mean, he's dead now. You shouldn't talk about the dead like that, but, uh, he was, is the fact, and he didn't have it easy either. I, I've examined the reason why my father, the way he was, well, he was his own mother. My grandmother was not good to him, you know, not good to him at all. So he was, there was a re and alcoholism ran in the family. That's the reason I, you know, I'll have a beer every once in a while, but I pretty much stay away from the alcohol. Um, I don't have that in me anyway. I think alcoholism is genetic and I don't think I could be an alcoholic. It makes me feel too bad. Uh, not as in emotionally bad. It makes me feel physically bad. But uh, what was my point there? Oh, yeah, I was left to my own devices pretty much, especially in high school. You know, did whatever I wanted to do in my in my sophomore year. I made horrible grades, you know, D's and stuff. And, uh, you know, the teachers and the counselors thought, you know, it's just another, you know, piece of white trash, you know, not ever going to do anything. Um, my my father and I, my dad got into a physical altercation. Like he was violent. You know, we were always walking on edge eggshells, but a real like hardcore physical altercation when I was a junior in high school and he and my, my mom and him were still together. You know, she put up with it. I don't know how she put up with it, but she did. But, uh, he had gotten a DWI that they called it back then driving while intoxicated. And throughout his life, it was different back then. Throughout his life, he probably had five or six of them. You know, by today's standards, <clears throat> he'd have been in prison. But it had been several years, and he got another one. You know, and I'm the one who picked him up out of jail. Uh, and I worked at a grocery store then. I didn't have a car. You know, we were poor. But he came and picked me up one night from work, and he was just, this is after I just got him out of jail from this DWI, and he was drunk. So I'm like, I'll, I'll drive, you know. And we get home and he goes, oh, we were on our way home. And he goes, you need to take me to the liquor store. And in my area in Northwest Ar in Northeast Arkansas, Craighead County is a dry county. No liquor sales. Back then there was nothing. Now there's restaurants and stuff that serve. Back then there was a couple of private clubs like the Eagles and the VFW. And that was it. Uh, so you had to go to the next county over, which is Poinsett County to the liquor store. He was like, take me to the liquor store. I'm like, I'm not taking to your liquor store. You know, I'm 16 years old. You've already obviously had plenty, you know, for tonight. And he didn't say a word. And we got home and he was like, I'm going, I'm going to the liquor store. And he passed over. And I told him, I was like, I was like, you, I, I took the keys and I was like, you effing jackass. I was like, you just got out of jail and you're going to go again, you know, and we got into a physical confrontation. Like I went into the house and he ran in after me and we got into it now. And I basically beat the shit out of him, you know, because he was drunk and he was little than I was anyway. I'm six foot two, you know, back then 180 pounds. He's five, nine, a buck 40. Um, and we got into it and, uh, mom kicked him out. And that was the final straw for it. And after he was gone, I did so much better in school. 
I went from a C and D student to an A and B student, just like that. My senior year, I was on the merit roll and honor roll and stuff. And I took the ACT. My senior year, I waited to my senior year before I took it in the uh, high school counselor, Miss Finley, who had went to high school with my mom. My mom didn't like her, <laughs> but uh, she called me into her office when she got my ACT scores and, and she looked at me and she goes, what have you been doing? Cause I made a pretty good score. I was like, I don't know. You know, she was like, you could get a scholarship to college. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, you know, it is what it is. But, uh, I, at that time I'd already been in delayed entry program for the Marines for a couple of years. Cause I wanted out of the house. Cause my dad was still there, but once he was gone, I still went to the Marines. You know, I went to the reserves. Uh, but my thing is my whole point of that is, um, judging kids but what they do when they're kids is not good i guess what my point was with that <laughs> uh, but anyway yeah i went on to bachelor's masters and teach at the university level so yeah yeah absolutely keith I, and i believe that he says it's not genetic you know it's it's not genetic it's uh everything is a choice and it, it may be to some extent who knows you know but uh it's, it's baffling when you see patterns repeat themselves over and over again, but I have to agree with you kind of that it's not genetic because even my younger sister, who is a piece of garbage is not an alcoholic. Like my dad was, you know, she makes horrible decisions and is a horrible person, but that has nothing to do with alcohol, you know? So, but anyway, that was a way off tangent there, wasn't it? <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, that's okay, Monty. I'm over it, but, uh, yeah, my, and Denise says, you know, my dad was an alcoholic and he died at 65 from it. Yeah. My dad died at 55, 55. And it was the alcoholism and smoking, you know? So, but I truly believe my, my dad, but I think was manic depressive along with alcoholic because he had wild mood swings, you know? So, yeah. Yeah, it was Anissa. Yeah, it was really hard on her, you know, but the violence, you can only go so much. Oh, thanks, Rusty Raccoon. Appreciate it. A lot of people like the life stories. Some don't, you know, but I think there's something to be learned. I'm a big history guy. I have, you know, I've talked about my, I have a bachelor's degree in physical education. I thought I was going to be a teacher and a coach. Didn't work out. I have a master's degree in business administration, and that's what I used to teach at the University of Missouri. Um, and I also went to Boston University and got a graduate certificate in uh, genealogical research. So I'm kind of a history buff. I kind of like the stuff. I've did my family tree for about the past 18 years, genealogy. So, yeah. And Tommy, that was your instincts, just stepping up to be the man of the house and knowing. Yeah, I, I think so, too. I really do. I was, you know. I didn't have any good influences either, you know, cause my mom couldn't do anything and, uh, dad was just an alcoholic, but, uh, at some point you got to make a decision, you know, and I think I made, and I made some bad decisions. I'm not saying I didn't, I made some pretty bad decisions in that 16 to 22 era, but I straightened up, you know, Jillian, my father was an addict too. He did not live with us. Thank God but still hard to love an addict. It, it, and it is, you know, it really is. And my, my dad, all he wanted to be was, uh, you know, loved essentially, but it was so difficult, but he was such an asshole. And, and I've talked about how poor we were and we were, we were poor. We were dirt ass poor. You know, I've talked about the amount of money my mom got from social security. My dad eventually was considered disabled and he really was. He, when he was, uh, he was a pipe fitter which you would think make decent money, but he didn't. Um, uh, he had a scaffold collapse beneath him in about 1986 or so, 85 or 86. A scaffold, a three-story scaffold collapsed beneath him, and he grabbed onto a pipe when it was collapsing, and it was a sharp pipe, and it cut, almost cut off his thumb, and it cut off the rest of his fingers. He had a pin through his thumb after the surgery and everything. They were able to reattach it, luckily. When he fell, you know, he land, he was lucky he lived. Well, lucky for him. I don't know about us so much, but uh, 
messed up his back and his shoulder. He was really messed up from that fall. And that's not his fault. Well, who knows if it was his fault? Cause this, literally this was the era that they would drink beer on lunch breaks, literally. But, uh, after that he was on disability and he didn't get a lot either. So that's why we're, you know, combination of things while we were poor. And, uh, that was one of them, but he would spend, you know, back then beer and cigarettes, beer literally was like 10, nine, ten dollars a case back then. Cigarettes were buck and a half a pack, but still you're talking a guy that smoked two packs a day and drink a case of beer a day. So that's a uh, three, thirteen dollars a day on beer and cigarettes when, so that's every month that's uh, $420 a month. That's crazy, you know, but anyway, yeah, I can go on and on about that. <laughs> um, Will said, are we twins, Mike? I feel like I'm recording myself telling my story. Yeah, it's, it unfortunately happens a lot. Yeah. I missed something with Monty posting here. Yeah. Monty's dad was young too. 68 is young. No, Denise, my mom passed away when she was 65 in from complications of, I mean, she had MS and she was legally blind. Luckily she wasn't in a wheelchair, but it was basically, comp she was just the cancer from 1989. She had cervical cancer. And when she was in Little Rock for treatment for that cancer for like, she was in Little Rock for like three or four months in the Ronald McDonald house. If you support a charity, support Ronald McDonald house. That's what I do. Good people. Uh, undergoing chemo and radiation, basically that chemo and radiation destroyed her, uh, bladder and really had a big detrimental effect on her internal organs. So she was constantly in pain and, uh, yeah, her bladder didn't work right. And, uh, she was in, you know, just bad shape. She passed away. She was born in 1950. She passed away at 65. She passed away in 2015. I think I got that wrong last time I was telling the story, but yeah, my dad was 55. My mom was 65. My dad passed away in 2007 and my mom passed away in 2015. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So 55 and 65. Oh, thanks Keith. And that happens. So you just go off on a tangent and it gets all crazy, but everybody can relate because most people have had some bad stuff, you know? Yeah, we definitely learn from their mistakes, thrifter, junker, vintage hunter. At least I do. You know, my little sister didn't, but uh, Jillian, my dad, my dad's brother, cousins on his side are all addicts. You know? And I believe that's the case, Jillian. He was a he was a, a alcoholic, but I really believe he was a manic depressive as well. You know, and never got proper treatment for him. His treatment was beer. You know, old Milwaukee. Smoked Vantage 100s and drank old Milwaukee like they're going out of style. And I'm not exaggerating when a case a day, a case a day. Not exaggerating. Oh, absolutely, Uncle Warren. Yep. Um, sh sh Tommy Barnard, my dad is an alcoholic cheater, wife beater, still kicking, but my mom was a saint and she died unexpectedly at 55. Isn't that crazy? And my dad was that way too. Not only the alcoholism, I think it all goes hand in hand, the cheater. And I never, I never have solved the wife beating part, but I know it's true. That kept that away from us, but I know it happened, you know? So, but anyway, L was married to one and that's not a good situation either. I'll see you later, Glenn. No, oh, looks like we got a got a troll. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Craig. Thank you, Anissa. That's why I have so many mods. They jumped all over it. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Appreciate that. Yep, Shriners is a good one. Yeah, I you know I give money every year to the Ronald McDonald House, and like I said, I bought uh, Girl Scout cookies from my niece, and uh, of course I'm not having sugar, and my wife doesn't want to have them either in the house because she'll just eat them. But uh, she's we're having my uh, niece donate ten boxes of 
Girl Scout cookies in Ronald McDonald House in uh, Kansas City. So, yeah. Oh, that's awesome, Chris. Yeah, Shriners is a great one. A lot of these charities got to be careful careful with, but there's a lot of really good ones. And Scott, the bearded picker, you know, his wife is dealing with breast cancer, and he'll tell you this as well. Suman Coleman is not a good charity to give to. There are so many other really good charities. My uh, Denise asked, Mike, are your wife's parents still living? No, they are not. Uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's unfortunate at our age that we have nothing, no one left, no grandparents, no parents. Uh, my wife, uh, my wife's husband, or my, <laughs> my husband, I'm still here, hopefully. My wife's dad died in actually a truck accident when she was in high school. She, he drove a truck for a living, overload truck, and he passed away in an accident. And uh, her mom passed away very unexpectedly. She had lupus, so she had health issues, but still her passing was really unexpected on uh, Christmas Day. We were all there, actually. That one was tough. That one was really tough. Really, really tough. Monty had his son at 18, worked two jobs for the first five years of his life. I left his dad. I was pregnant and uh, filed for divorce before I showed Huh. Crazy. Land shark. Dad had a small stroke this way. Yeah, I heard about that, Craig. Sorry to hear that, bud. I mean, at least it, I mean, I know that's small things, but glad it wasn't a big one because strokes can be doozies, you know. Uh, Anissa. Your daughter had hip disease and Shriner was amazing to her. That's awesome. It's good stuff. Yeah, all, tons of trolls all of a sudden. Weird. Maybe the topic got to them. I don't know. <laughs> but thanks to all the ranches out there. Appreciate it. Oh, you think, think so, Will? It probably is because there's no coincidence that it's all of a sudden a ton of stuff all at once, you know? So, yeah, bots, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, I triggered the trolls talking about emotional stuff and family stuff and addiction and violence. And... All right, guys. Well, thank you, Rusted Raccoon, for the $2 super chat. I truly appreciate that. That's awesome. Just got a notification. Rally Roots posted a new video. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Weak minds. Yeah, Keith, absolutely. Yep. Well, that's not cool, Justin. Justin just went live with his reseller hangout. So, uh, but I was about to wrap it up anyway. So, uh, Still should have paid attention. So, uh, yeah, thanks, guys. Thanks, Rusty Raccoon, for the super chat. Uh, like I said, I'll be filling, uh, filming the uh, haul video this afternoon. It'll be live tonight for patrons and be public tomorrow on YouTube. But uh, So you guys check that out. Thanks, guys, and we will see you tomorrow with our haul video. Peace out.